Hello, 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 hello! This is the Children's School of Character. I am Teacher Jen. Let's do an activity today to show us how we can renew our minds. The Bible tells us that we shouldn't be the same as the world and that we should let God change the way we think. And many people talk about being streetwise or worldly wise and that means that you think the way the world thinks. However, God wants us to think the way that He thinks. He wants you to be renewing your mind. This is what our Bible verse today tells us. Colossians 3 verse 10 says, Put on your new nature and be renewed as you learn to know your Creator and become like Him. Let's get our materials ready for our activity. Here are the things that we need. An empty glass, a pan or tray, a tall pitcher of water, and a juice drink. The glass represents your mind, okay? Here are the things that you think about, represented by the juice. Now, it is full of all kinds of thoughts, things of the world. Basically, thinking in a way that does not please God. So, if you have thoughts about lying or cheating or doing something wrong, those are thoughts that don't please God. God wants us to change the way that we think. Everyone, look really hard at this class. And let's make it change into something else by looking at it. Let's stare intently in our glass of juice without blinking. Ready? Go! Don't blink! Aww! Nothing happened! Our glass of juice still is the same, full of thoughts of the world. How can we change what is in the glass? How do we change the way we think? By filling it up with something else. Here now is our pitcher of water that represents God's Word, the Bible. Instead of letting our thoughts be filled with things of the world, we should let it get filled with God's Word. It's so easy to let the world's thinking slip in. We are exposed to it on TV, movies, music, or magazines, the internet, and many other ways. We need to fill our lives with God's Word. Do you see what is happening? The water is replacing the juice. Isn't it amazing? The same way that when we pour God's Word into our lives, it begins to change the way we think by replacing those worldly thoughts. The more we let God's Word into our life, the more it will clean us and help us to think the way that God wants us to. Sometimes more bad thinking gets added back in, and that is why we need to study God's Word on a daily basis, every day. Look at our glass. It's now full of water. It's now full of God's Word. The juice is all gone. The thoughts of the world are all gone. Let us read and study God's Word and let it transform the way that we think. Just like what our Bible verse says in Colossians 3 verse 10. It says here, Put on your new nature and be renewed as you learn to know your Creator and become like Him. Now, it's your turn to recite our Bible verse. Colossians 3 verse 10 Put <laughs> on your new nature and be renewed as you learn to know your Creator and become like Him. Colossians 3 verse 10 Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we praise you and honor you for all the blessings that we receive from you. We are grateful, Lord, for your love and thank you for you never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you that every day you refresh us, you renew us, and strengthen us. Thank you that we'll be transformed into the person that you want us to be. In Jesus' name, Amen.
you for reciting our Bible verse today and for leading today's prayer. And thanks to Teacher Christine for our Arts and Crafts video. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next week here at the Children's School of Character. Always remember that Jesus loves you. Bye!